Ever wonder why the real hackers never get caught? Because they don't just hide online, they become ghosts. Imagine this, it's 3.17 a.m. Somewhere in Berlin, a hacker sits in a dark room, hoodie up, headphones on, the glowing monitors in the dark, making his face look like he's about to hack NASA or just order pizza on tour. But this isn't Netflix fiction. This is real life. And while you're binge watching your favorite show, this person is rewriting the rules of the internet and you'll never even know they exist. See, script kitties? They run Kali Linux, spam, and map scans, and flex screenshots on Reddit. But the elites? Entirely different breed. They don't just hack, they orchestrate digital warfare. They operate where Google Maps ends and the onion layers begin. First rule of this hidden world? Anonymity is survival. VPN? That's baby mode. Real hackers build multi-layered proxy chains, routing encrypted traffic across 20-plus compromised servers. Tokyo, Berlin, Sao Paulo, Nairobi, Iceland, and back to Tokyo. Just to confuse anyone insane enough to follow. Your ISP? Blind. Your government? Guessing. And then comes Tor, but not the Click Connect version everyone uses. You know the one. You download Tor Browser, open it, and there's that cute little green button that says Connect. You click it once, the circle spins, and boom. Congratulations. You think you've gone dark. That's the version most people use that you the tourist mode. But the elites? They laugh at that. They don't click connect. They bend Tor to their will. They weaponize it like Tor over VPN and ISP thinks you're invisible. Then VPN over Tor, the Tor exit nodes stay hidden. Tor bridges and private relays to invisible entry points nobody can see. Custom onion nodes where even Tor itself can't betray them. Some hackers even chain multiple Tor tunnels, stacking them like Russian dolls, wrapping each layer in another layer of encrypted chaos until tracking them becomes mathematically impossible. But that's just step one. When it's time to vanish completely, they boot into Tails OS, an amnesiac operating system running from a USB stick. No logs, no caches, no fingerprints. Power it off, and it self-destructs, leaving nothing behind. Pair it with Kube's OS, and a single machine can run five separate isolated identities simultaneously. Five ghosts, one laptop, then they descend into the dark web. Not the fake Hitman for $200 scams. Not Reddit creepypasta stories. I'm talking about invite-only forums, encrypted marketplaces, and private IRC networks buried deep within onion layers. Places where zero-day exploits, ransomware kits, and millions of stolen credentials are traded like Pokemon cards. Want an Android spyware framework? $1,200. Want a fresh zero-day exploit for Chrome? $80,000? 50 million credit cards? Negotiable. And how do they pay? Not Visa. Not PayPal. Crypto. Always crypto. Bitcoin. Monero. Zcash. Billions flow through mixers, tumblers, and chain-hopping wallets until tracing the money becomes impossible. Law enforcement loads up chain analysis dashboards and just cries. But here's where things get terrifying. These hackers don't just buy malware, they build empires. Hidden inside Tor's deepest layers, they set up command and control servers. The digital brain controlling botnets of hundreds of thousands, sometimes millions, of infected devices. Your neighbor's Wi-Fi? Owned. That office printer? Compromised. Your smart fridge? Mining Monero right now. Every single infected machine reports back to its master, receiving commands, payloads, and ransomware triggers. And the genius part, all C2 traffic is encrypted and pushed through Tor tunnels, making the operators untouchable. From these hidden dashboards, they can deploy new ransomware payloads, move millions in crypto, sell stolen access to other hackers, update malware remotely like patching software. Then comes the gold rush, ransomware as a service. Elites no longer hack corporations directly. Instead, they run syndicates on the dark web, recruiting affiliates like soldiers. These affiliates use custom-built ransomware payloads provided by the syndicate. A hospital gets encrypted. A bank gets locked. Terabytes of data vanish behind AES-256 encryption. The ransom note appears. Pay $5 million in Bitcoin or say goodbye to your files. The victims panic. The money flows, but that's just the start. Because before the coins reach the hacker's wallet, they travel through dozens of crypto tumblers, privacy chains, mixers, and hidden wallets until the entire trail ceases to exist. And they don't stop there. These elites craft polymorphic malware, malicious code that constantly rewrites itself, evading detection like a chameleon in the matrix. They build ransomware payloads that encrypt drives in seconds, inject into memory, 
bypass antivirus, and quietly send decryption keys back to hidden C2 servers. They don't just open Chrome and Google stuff like the rest of us. Nah, they harden their browsers to become ghosts online. They tweak Firefox, Brave, and even custom Chromium builds to spoof their fingerprints. So every website thinks they're using a different device. They block all tracking scripts, force DNS over HTTPS so nobody can spy on their requests, and strip away every bit of browser telemetry that could leak information. When they communicate, it's not on WhatsApp or Gmail. They use encrypted messengers, PGP-secured emails, and private channels hidden from the open web. And they never use their personal machines. Instead, they operate from burner laptops, air-gapped systems, completely cut off from the internet, and sandboxed virtual machines where every identity, every operation, and every browser runs in a completely separate, isolated environment. One machine, five identities, zero traces. You will never find them. Not the FBI, not the NSA, not Interpol. By the time one IP is traced, the hacker has already switched six identities, nuked their OS, wiped the drives, rotated wallets, and migrated their operations to a completely new ghost machine. Because in this world, visibility equals death. And the most dangerous hackers aren't the ones making noise. They're the ones you'll never know existed. While the rest of the world worries about Wi-Fi speed, these ghosts are moving millions, hijacking systems, and erasing footprints faster than we can blink. This isn't hacking for fame. This is power. This is control. This is a war you never see. Fought in silence where one wrong packet can expose you and one perfect move can make you untouchable. If you're ready to dive deeper, like, share, and subscribe, the next rabbit hole is waiting. See you in the next one.